All right, welcome to a brand new one. Now, stages and jobs are pretty important in uh, any of the CICD fundamentals, right? We've in in the previous uh, videos in my course, I took you through that how to create a stage, how to create a job. But I want to touch base on a very important topic called as multi stages. So what I'm going to do is. I'm going to create three different stages for build, deploy and anything else and we're going to have different jobs underneath these stages. So how GitLab works is you've got a stage, you've got a pipeline first and then you've got a stage and then you've got a job. So you could have multiple jobs inside a stage or you could have just one job inside a stage. So stage and jobs work together. So you could have multiple jobs underneath one stages and you could have multiple stages. So stages are really important in infrastructure or any of the pipelines when you start working on stages uh, or work on actual environment, you would see that how stages are really, really important. Uh, you would create different stages, one stage for build, one stage for deployment, one stage for destroy. Uh, in your actual world, you would create one stage for infrastructure deployment, one stage for application deployment, another stage for static code analysis, another stage for uh, vulnerability management, another stage for uh, Vera code integration or sonar cube integration. All of these could be segregated into different stages and stages are really important when it comes to segregating your pipeline, segregating your jobs, segregating what you want to do. And all of these stages could be completely independent of each other, which means they don't have any dependency. You could maintain a dependency, but technically they are completely isolated. Um, the cache of this particular stage is not saved or is consumed by another stage. So this is really, really important. And uh, in this session, in this video, I'm gonna teach you how you could use different stages in uh, GitLab and use it in your actual environment. Let's head over to the demo and see how stages are built in GitLab. All right, welcome back. So far, what we've done is we've built using one pipeline, single pipeline, single stage, which is a build docker file and then we've been running all our commands inside the uh, same uh, stage. Now, in an ideal world, in an ideal infrastructure, you need to have multiple stages. You've got to have multiple stages, one stage is for one job, another for another one and then uh, there's going to be subsequent stages. So in this session, what we're going to do is I'm going to introduce you to multi-stage pipeline. How do you know it started with that? So over here, we have just one stage, right, which is build. Now what we're going to build is we're going to build three different stages, one for build, one for tag and one for push. Let's see how it kind of works. So you define, start defining the stages over here, you say tag image. All right. And then you say push image. Then you start defining the stages over here. First thing first, we are going to say build, I'm going to the name uniform we're gonna say build image all right I'm gonna say build image and then gonna say over here also if you don't define it's gonna error out all right so first is just before script everything gonna remain same you what you want to do is you want to do a docker login and then you want to docker build I'm just gonna remove everything and the next stage would be tag image and then I'm going to remove all the auto completion. I'm going to say stage name is going to be what tag image what we have defined over here where it's going to run. It's going to run in some sort of image, right? So we're going to say image equals to same docker latest. All right. And then we're going to say service services we because we want privileges higher privileges to run the docker inside docker all right so what we're going to say is we're going to say docker tag because it's a, it's a, it's a docker tag right and then we're going to say tag this with this particular image and uh, we don't want commit reference for now and then we're going to say docker image all right so what whatever we have done together we are now bifurcating uh, into two different stages first one is build wherein we're going to build it and the second one is tag image where we're going to tag it. it. It is dependent on the previous step. Until and unless you build, you can't tag a new image, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a commit. I'm going to say 
multi staged pipeline let's see let's see what it says whether it passes whether it fails i don't know let's just figure out that how it kind of behaves as soon as i click on the push button and i'm going to come back to my pipeline it should trigger a pipeline or say there are any syntactical error if the, remember it's yaml so make sure that you your syntax and the identification is right as you can see there are two pipelines sorry two uh, stages now one is build image and then the tag image let's go to the build image and see what it is doing it is it should be doing this it should just do a docker login and then do the docker build and then the next ta ta uh, next stage it should start with the docker tag let's see how it kind of behaves whether it fails or it, it's pretty simple right you define the docker um, build image over here and then tag image over here whatever images you're defining over here you need to just uh, define over here as well as you can see I've used the push image but I have defined I haven't defined it over here so the job is succeeded the build was done it was not fine that's fine but it was able to uh, do the docker build that's pretty much all so now let's go to our pipeline again and see what is the what is the behavior of our next one which is now running again which is tag image let's see whether it is able to tag the image or not if it is able to we are gonna do the tagging all right as you can see error of no such image my docker site latest was found because those two steps are those two stages which is this one and this one are dependent on each other and now it can't find this particular image so we got to make bunch of changes all right so first thing first we're gonna say after service do before script all right before script do a docker login just like we have done above and let's say first build it and then tag the image all right let's and do let's do a docker list as well docker images as well over here and over here as well all right let's push the changes and see how it behaves this is not the ideal way first of all a disclaimer this is not the ideal way because because there are multiple ways you can use the depends on and other but i don't want to enforce everything right in our initial session i'm gonna show you how you could just break down your initial pipeline into multi stages and then we're gonna learn advanced functionalities as well like how could you use depends on how could you use the other functionalities as well don't worry about it this is just to show you how to convert your single staged pipeline into multi-staged one as well all right so it's it's gonna do the same it's gonna just build the image and just gonna list the image same steps again do a docker uh, do a gitlab runner find the runner wherein it needs to run all of these steps or stages and then it's gonna find that runner and it's gonna start executing whatever we have mentioned over here first picks up the docker image which is docker latest and then list down the image the first stage is successful let's go to our pipeline again and see if it kind of works this time for our second stage or not let's click on the next stage which is tag image and let's see if it works or not all right it has started to pull the image which we have defined over here in the tag image section as well uh, doing the docker login and then building it and then tagging it Okay, let's see if it is able to tag or not if it's successful we're gonna move on to our last stage which is the push image so as you can see there are a bunch of repetition which has been done over here we're doing doing a docker build over here as well and over here as well is there a better way absolutely there is and in the upcoming session we're going to learn how you could just optimize your pipeline in a better way all right the second stage is also now successful this time it was able to uh, build the image tag the image with my docker hub uh, credential now the last stage last stage is we have already defined the stage over here push image so that's going to be push image uh, it's going to be same so we're going to define the stage name which is going to be push image what's the image which we're going to use it's going to be the docker latest services going to be same again docker dnd 
docker inside docker and then we're gonna run the before script you see the if you do an identification error it's gonna tell you that there is an identification error all right so now i'm gonna do a docker login which i've done and then i'm gonna run the script which is all right so which is first is docker build hyphen t docker image then docker tag and then docker push all right these are the three stages once i'm happy with the changes i can start pushing my changes added three stages in my pipeline and now my third stage should also be populating in the pipeline as soon as i hit on the push button so i'm going to go back come back to my pipeline section now we should have three different stages running inside the single yaml or single pipeline bingo here you go one stage second stage and the third stage if you click on the running you'll be able to see all of these three stages together the first stage is build image second stage is tag image uh, third stage is push image so i'm going to give it a few seconds let it build the image first and then it should move on we know that these two is gonna work uh, because it worked the last time as well what we really care about is this one pushing the image all right let's go to the build image um speed all right the first stage is successful i'm sure it's moving on to the next stage which is going to be the uh, building of image tagging the image let's go to the second stage which is the tagging of the image um, if you go to the repository you shouldn't have any image which was pushed like last change was done 32 minutes ago all right uh, after completing the three stages we should have a new image popping up in our docker hub as well all right still running it we're going to give it a few seconds all right the second stage is also now successful it was able to tag the image successfully as you can see uh, it's still running at the third stage however it was successful for the first one first two and then let's go to the third one which is the push image want to recap we just segregated our single stage into multi stages and it is really important when you start working on actual pipeline ci cd pipeline you need to figure out that whether you want single stages or multi stages high chances you'll have multi stages pipeline all right the job is successful the image has been pushed successful if you go to the docker hub uh, just give it a refresh you should have the new image popping up over here stating it was pushed few seconds back all right as you can see docker uh, it was pushed few seconds ago which was done by our user on this pipeline over here and this was about creating multi-staged pipeline i hope this was informative this is really fundamentally important how you could just bifurcate into multiple stages and get your work done we started with single stage then we created two stage one of them failed at once and then we created a three staged pipeline all right i hope this was super informative I'll see you in a bit. Thank you.